Hey, hey, System Coach, how are you guys doing? It's me, Johnny Sports, and welcome back to the I Rate Your Team's Career Mode episode. This series is going beyond what I ever expected it to be. These first three episodes alone have gotten us around 1,000 subscribers on the channel. Thank you guys so much for joining in through watching this series. I'm pretty much aware that a lot of you guys that are currently watching this video are new to the channel and I would highly recommend to go ahead and subscribe because a lot more great content like this is going to come your way. Hopefully, I can call this great content, but in my opinion, it really is some of the most fun stuff that we have recorded in the past few years. And also, it's very exciting to check out some of these incredible teams coming in from you guys. So if you did enjoy, please, if you could, Hit that like button for me and of course subscribe if you are new and leave a comment down below with what team you think has been the best thing and also give some challenges to the people that are going to be taking part in the next episodes let them know about some of the ideas that you think would do really well in terms of them trying to go ahead and win so that is something that i want to see you guys say but let's start off with i rate your teams right now it's time to step in the categories are on your screen difficulty concept growth and stream rating all of it will be used to get a winner. Last episode, I made a little mistake. I'm not the mathematician. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I picked two winners, even though one of them had more points than the other. NATO has been given his uh, PSN gift card. So whoever wins today will get a PSN gift card once again. Let's get it started. This is I Rate Your Teams. Enjoy episode four and a new team coming in right now. The first team off the new episode of the i rate your career i rate your career mode teams episodes it is an interesting one he has accrington stanley as far as i know he has a very interesting concept so what we're going to take a look into straight away we're going to go into his my career section first of all i saw he has 760 million to spend so that is uh quite interesting he has gone into the season 2032 which, again, is pretty impressive. The season before that, he has won the Champions League, the FA Community Shield, FA Cup, Carabao Cup, Premier League, Premier League a Player of the Month awards twice, Manager of the Year. He has gotten it twice and a no record transfer fee paid. Quite an interesting one to start off with. Six league titles, 10 Continental Cups in this one. So I am very interested wow <laughs> hold on a sec <laughs> i want to see his youth academy real quick so he has sent his scouts he only has two he has sent them out to look for things uh he has gone the entirety of the last season with no losses he says wow have you actually he has played 64 games 160 four draws and no losses invincibles Wow, my man has gone invincible throughout an entire season. I mean, that is quite interesting if you ask me. Um, that I don't think we've seen that yet. So that shows an incredible amount of, uh, of force within this team. And we go straight into it. It's a youth academy slash with a couple of other players put in there. I'm going to quickly find his comment where he described his career mode and tell you guys what it is exactly about. So he said, season 11 in Accrington Stanley, homegrown UK career mode only to use players from Northern Ireland, Scotland and England. I like that. It's a different concept with the Youth Academy. It's not the same thing all the time, but it's a 99 rated Fletcher up top with the five star, five star. On the left hand side, he has Stubbs with the 98. Phil Foden. 98 rated fits right into the concept english super talent 98 rated right there then he has a manning with a 97 at that cam position or center midfield i believe that is isn't it or is that cam i'm not too sure anyways he has fry with the 95 so his youth academy players are unreal then interestingly enough he has the ac milan wonder kid yes he has now joined ac milan uh chelsea's own tomori as a CDM on a 97 rating. I respect that so much. Incredible, my man. Tomori was a 99, but he's losing overall due to age. Oh, he's 33. Wow. Okay. That makes sense. He probably was 99 rated. Adamson on the left. McGregor in the center back position. Brennan. Monaghan, 99 rated. And then Ramsdale on a 99 as well. 
What is Ramsdale's potential? Ramsdale has a potential of 80. He took him to a 99. Well done, bro. Honestly, that is incredible. And then on his bench, he has one of the current biggest talents of England. Obviously, Jude Bellingham. Henderson in goal. Poole, Williamson, McDonough, Meehan, Armour. And the bench is very good in terms of the levels of the bench. A couple of these players are very good. Obviously, Bellingham, Henderson, Williamson, uh, Meehan as well. But then he has a couple of lower rated ones, which I assume are still very young. Yeah, he's only 18 years old and 74 rated. So uh, lots of good players there. And then even in the reserves, he has a 90 rated player. So, wow. I mean, this is quite an interesting team with a very good concept to start off the I-Rated Team's career mode episode. I think this looks incredible. Well done, man. Youth Academy, along with talents, obviously some of them very high level with the likes of Foden, uh, with the likes of Tomori and stuff, but bringing a Ramsdale to a 99 rating, unbelievable stuff, man. Let's see what the people are saying. Ramsdale must be nearly 40. No, he's 33. Same age as Tomori. I, wow, this... Pretty impressive. It's going to be tough to beat this. And I'm very excited to see the rest. This is very, very good. So I'm going to let the chat vote now. I am personally extremely impressed. Ooh, this might be the clearest four that I've ever seen. 113 votes for a four. The three has 14. This is an exceptional team to start off with. An unbelievable career mode by Zephyr already an early favorite can he be beaten we have price is right coming back again and he has a very special team it's going to be team five which you guys should be looking forward to but my man has already put himself into potentially a winning uh winning spot so for this incredible team right here for, with Accrington, we have given him a difficulty rating of 10. Obviously, it is a team that is in the lower leagues and he had to grow it to become what it is right now. Then the concept rating, I'll give it an 8 because it is Youth Academy, but also using some players that are already amazing players like Phil Foden, Tomori. Uh, those types of players are already quality, but I love what he has done with Tomori, especially moving him into the CDM position. And I have to be very, very picky here in this episode. I would love to give everyone a 10 in everything, but we have to somehow pick a winner. So here we go. We're giving him an 8 on the concept because of the mix of Youth Academy slash normal players, which is not a bad thing, by the way, but you just have to take points away somewhere. Uh, but there it is, growth. He gets a 10. I mean, the fact that he has gotten Ramsdale to a 99 is just beyond what I can understand. His right back was 99 rated. His striker was 99 rated. The uh, Foden and uh, Stubbs were 98 rated. Like some really, really good stuff that he has done with his with his team here in terms of growth. Couldn't really complain about anything there. And the stream has given it a four. So let's do the maths again without making a mistake this time. 10 plus 8, 18. 18 plus 10, 28. 28 plus 4, 32. All right. 32 points for the first team. A very, very, very good start. There's only two more points to be gotten by anyone to, to be able to beat him. So let's check out team number two. Second team of the day. Manager name already gets a 10. Harry Maguire. <laughs> Harry Maguire coming in. Now, this one is an interesting one. This is a Salford City career mode, which isn't the interesting part. The interesting part is he has gone Bulgarian only. Bulgarian rebuild. Now, that is something I'm very excited about. I'm really hoping that we can see some players with low potentials get to incredible levels. So, first of all, he has three league titles so far. Uh, what has he done in the last season? So, last season in the Premier League, he didn't win it. FA Cup, Carabao Cup, round five and three. Ooh, interesting so you're struggling this far into the career mode that means your team is not that good but probably because you have gone bulgarian only let's check he has three scouts i'm assuming you only lose use the last one to find players from bulgaria but here it goes looking into his team now wow okay so it is genuinely bulgaria only now look it might not be the craziest team or anything like that but what I respect the hell out of is the fact that he has gone with a concept that I've never seen before. And he has a 96 rated Youth Academy player here. 
the left-footed beast uh, from Bulgaria, Nikolov. But the five star, five star, things we love to see. Then he has an actual Bulgarian player that I've never, ever in my life heard of. 79 potential. He took him to a 92. I respect it, man. This, this is the thing, guys. To win, you don't have to have a 99 rated team all the time. It genuinely should be a good concept as well. And I respect the hell out of this concept. So I really like this. This is, this is huge. He took a right midfielder that had 79 potential to become a left wing and 92 rated. Respect. Same with this Minchev guy. Who is this guy? 76 potential. Right midfielder. Made him a right wing. Grew him to a 93 rating. And it's looking nice. And along the way, as he's building this team, he's probably also building the future of the national team for Bulgaria, isn't he? So that is dope. So his attack is outstanding. In his midfield, he has Kraev, who has how much? I would assume probably another 70-something. 70 77 potential on Kraev. Took him to an 88. He has Yanev from the Youth Academy team. Then he has Gruev, an actual player. Looks like a Werder Bremen player from the kit. Yes, Werder Bremen. 78 potential on this man. Took him to a 90. Respect the hell out of this career mode. 92 rated center back. 85, 86, 80. He has the Todorov brothers in the team. Todorov, Todorov right there. And then on the bench, just pretty much a couple of youth academy players that haven't made it into his team. But man, the thing with this is, look, if you do one country only, the issue that you have is that you can only send the scout to one country once. You can't send the scout twice into the same country or three times. Let's say you have three scouts, you can only send one of them to Bulgaria. So every month he had to go through just one scout report to get to this level, right? And because of that, he hasn't won all the titles, right? But still, I I really, really... Oh, this Antov is an actual real player? I, I really respect this. Yeah, he is. 78 potential. He took him to a 92. Bro, that's quality. That's actual amazing quality. That is a sick career mode. He gets a four from me, but let's see what the chat says. Ooh, this is a close voting. This is a hella close voting. We have 40 votes on a three, 43 votes on a four. It seems like people really only care about the ratings of the players, but right now, as things stand, four is winning. So we will take a momentary picture and say four. 49 votes for four, 46 for three. It was a close one, but in my opinion, he deserves a four for this team. And the chat has agreed. And now the gap has gotten even wider. So he does get a four for this amazing concept that I really, really appreciate. So congratulations to you, my man. Well done. Now we're looking at the Bulgarian only Youth Academy career mode with Salford. And I loved it. Look, I, I get that the other career mode that we had was UK only and stuff, but I've never seen anyone do Bulgaria only, so I really, 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 really like it. And the fact that he has taken players that basically have no potential and some of the players within the team, that he's taken them to really, really high ratings, I respect the hell out of. But first of all, the difficulty is a 10, obviously, Southwood City in the lower leagues, and it's a very tough one to get to the top. The concept, I'm going to give a 9, because what he has done here is taken players from the Youth Academy, where he can only get one monthly scat report at a time, and also taking players that barely had any potential to really high ratings as well is extremely impressive. In terms of growth though, I'm gonna give this an eight because even though he's so far into the career mode, he doesn't really have many players above the rating of a 90. We will see later on that even players with below 70 potential can be gotten to a 90 plus rating even at this stage. So in, in certain cases, it just shows me that he probably has simulated a lot of games. So we're going to give him an 8 in terms of growth, but no knock on the team itself. It's a beautiful career mode and the stream has given it a 4. So let's do the maths again, Johnny. 10 plus 9, 19. 19 plus 8, 27. 27 plus 4 is a 31. So right now, he takes a comfortable second position in the career mode episode today. Let's take a look into the next team now we're on the account of tarlino 14 xavier fontaine i think that's his actual name in real life 
he has a Leighton Orient career mode. Now, that is something that is personal to us. So for that reason alone, we're going to be jumping into this one and taking a look at it. Stop going into the menus, please. <laughs> <laughs> then we have uh, 600 games played on this on this one. An amazing record. Wow. How did you amass that record? So season one with Leighton Orient. 45 wins, five draws, four losses only. Straight away from season one, absolutely dominating every single season. I don't know. I'm a bit worried, but we're going to check out this team before we judge it and see if it actually has been affected in any way, shape or form. He said he has a team. Played nearly all games myself, he says. Um, let's see the goal scored here. Some people were saying check out the goal scored. 1,639 goals scored against 510 conceded. Now, guys, let's not say he cheated yet, right? I mean, let's, let's be nice. He says that he has played all the games himself. And we're going to leave it at that, guys. I don't think... We'll, we'll see what happens as we look into the team. Let's not be harsh here. It's interesting to see, though, that what he's done in all the seasons, eight wins, eight league titles, six domestic cups. Um, but we still want to check out the team because it is Leighton Orient at the end of the day. And these are all players that potential below 70. And he has taken all of them to above 90. Now, that is the interesting part. This Tokba guy, 68 potential. Wow. Okay. Now, the thing is, I don't care what difficulty he plays on, guys. If he is a... Look at that. 88 rated helmet boy. 88 rated helmet boy. Lads. Lads. Look, that's different levels. I have to respect it. I have to respect it. Look at his bench. That might just be the most insane levels that we have seen for uh, a he helmet boy but Tokpa how about Sherban here Sherban here coming in with the 62 potential <laughs> no 69 sorry what about Goodridge every single player he says is below the 70 potential and every single one I've checked so far is actually below that potential uh once one person in the chat says as incredible as this is by playing every game all it takes is one season of scoring many goals to make a player's potential potential to be special that's my only issue that is potentially right this team if legit is one of the most amazing things i personally challenged people to do something like this and I respect the hell out of it that he has gone with players that have super low potential and he has gone with this rating here. An unbelievable squad. An absolutely unbelievable squad. He says, I started with Legendary and as the career mode went on, I changed to Ultimate because it got too easy, I assume. You know what? I'm going to give him the benefit of the doubt, guys. He has gone with players that have no potential and then taken them to the next level. That is hella amazing. But it's not unrealistic. If he, as he says, has played most of the games himself, um, that means that these players can reach this type of potential. He's currently in the year 2031. And I am impressed. I am just impressed. There, there's nothing I can say here. He lost against Nottingham in the cup. Maybe on purpose because he doesn't like the cup as much as I... Uh, at the same level as I don't like it. He's lost against Fulham there. The score lines are nothing too crazy. The score lines are natural. There are no like 6 nils or anything like that. Apart from that 5 nil against... Uh, against United there and the 3-0 against Liverpool and 5-0 against Liverpool in the league. Maybe then he changed this difficulty around that level, I feel like. I feel like until then he might have played legendary, but then he switched because every single scoreline gets pretty close. It's only like a max of two goals. And one thing that we can do to check out if it is actually legit is to leave the career mode, to go into the customized section, go into edit teams, Team Sheets, go into Leighton Orient and see it's the same team. So nothing changed. I don't think it's fake, man. I think it's genuinely an unbelievable career mode that sadly, due to the fact that it is as good as it is, causes a lot of doubters to be like, oh, this is not real. This is not actually something that's going to 
uh, that's going to get things done. Look at this guy. He has played a lot of career modes. He might just be a grinder. I appreciate this a lot. The fact that all these players are below 70 rated. And then he also has a bunch of Youth Academy players that have incredible ratings. You can't tell me this guy cheated, man. Look at the bench. Look at the reserves. Even the Youth Academy players. He has spent a lot of time to nurture these talents. To make sure that he has a beastie bench. This team is amazing. If he only had the bench and the reserves in his starting lineup, it would still be an incredible, incredible team. I'm going to let the chat vote. I'm hoping they're going to be fair. Just because you think it's something that you would never do doesn't mean someone else doesn't go out there and do it themselves and put the time and effort into it. 70 people have voted for a four. I am proud of my viewers to actually show a man that has put the effort and time into it. The respect he deserves because this team is unbelievable. His bench, the Youth Academy players, just show the amount of time and effort spent on this one. 70 potential and below, up to an incredible, incredible 95, 92, 94. Great job, man. Great job. Helmet Boy 88 rated as well. I mean, come on. How can you not give this a four? GG's. Xavier, that is one of the best teams we have ever seen. I have to say this to you right now. I don't care what anyone says. You, my friends, are doing an amazing job. Now, this team caused a little bit of trouble within the stream itself. A lot of people were saying, he's cheating, he's cheating, and all of that stuff. And I really genuinely tried to give him the benefit of the doubt because you just have to say, someone is just not a cheater as long as you can't really prove it. And in my opinion, the concept that he had and the amount of effort that he put into the youth academy for the bench and the reserves and the amount of time that goes into this career mode itself has to be respected at the end of the day. It is an incredible team that he has. Difficulties at 10 rating, obviously Leighton Orient. Ah, oh, man, good old days. Leighton Orient, he has here the first Leighton Orient team of today. It is a 10 difficulty there. In terms of concept, I have to give this a 10. It's, an, it's, an, it's a challenge that I set him myself or I set you guys myself. And I said, you know what? If you can do this, take a team of players 70 potential and below and take them to 90 plus ratings. And that is exactly what he has done. Now, one thing I will have to take away, just one point, because he doesn't necessarily have a maxed out team yet. It isn't a 99, 98, 97 rated team all around the place. His highest rated player is a 97 rated right back. And the rest of the team, the average is probably laying around something like a 92 or a 93 rating. So in terms of growth, we're gonna take something away there because it could have been max rating if that team was like 99 rated. And then the stream rating is a four. So in total, this now puts him at number one. Number one for this incredible, incredible team. He could be our winner today. But I know there's some massive teams coming up. So enjoy the next one. We now have a Bayern Munich 2 career mode from Svegist Ziggy, who last week tried to join. Sadly, didn't have PlayStation Plus. So then we moved on to a different team. Now he actually got PlayStation Plus to be able to take part in this and give me control. Otherwise, you can't do the share play properly. But... He has a Bayern Munich 2 career mode where his main goal is to take over the actual Bayern Munich, the main team, and be better than them. So in 501 games, he has gotten 330 wins with 80 losses and 91 draws, 972 goals scored, 460 conceded. Now, if we go in here, he has won the Super Cup, won the Champions League, won the Bundesliga, and only gotten into the finals of the Super Cup. He is in the year 2030. 2031. His team probably looks amazing. Any Youth Academy usage? Yes, Youth Academy has been used. Let's take a look at the squad here. <laughs> okay, this is going to be interesting. Now, he has Ansu Fati, 95 rated. Already a good talent, so nothing too impressive. This guy... I think is an actual player, but just with, with no face. Who is this guy? Where is he from? Is he Swedish? He is from Sweden. This guy has 80 potential. He took him to a 99. Respect. I like that. Tillman up top. Who the hell are you? Tillman. He is an 81 potential player from the original Bayern Munich 2 team. Wow. Okay. Okay, we're getting there. I like this. I like this. Then moving down to the right-hand side, a Youth Academy player. 
Uh, he has a Dembele on the right, Karamoko Dembele, not the Usman Dembele. This guy still doesn't have mass massive potential, does he? Only 84, took him to a 98. Very impressive. Now he has Musiala up top in the camp position. Musiala is a 85 potential actual Liverpool, um, actual Bayern Munich player from Bayern Munich 2. Apparently a lot of teams that are in real life are very interested in him. So two players from the original team that he took up to incredible, incredible levels. Then he has Schreiber here, who I'm assuming is maybe Tony Kroos' regen or something. Uh, then he has Ari MB. Is this another actual Bayern Munich player? Wait, 85. Yeah, actual Bayern Munich player. Wow. Bayram, is this another one? Yo, this is very impressive. This is very impressive. I like what he's done. Bayram is a 83 potential center back that starts off with a 60 rating. He took him to a 96 plus 36 in overall. Richards. Richards coming in with... What is this guy? A center back? 83 potential, actual Bayern Munich player. 99, he got him up to. He started off at a 67. Frustel, obviously an original Bayern player. 99 rated. Wow. I am impressed. And he has a Romero exactly the same way he looks in my career mode. That is impressive. I don't know how, you, how the hell you did that. But overall... A youth academy squad mixed with actual players and regens. Bayern Munich 1 over to Bayern Munich, uh, Bayern Munich 2 overtaking the actual Bayern and now playing in the likes of the Champions League and winning the Bundesliga title. That is unbelievable. Let's see what the chat says to this team. Oh, that is Messi's regen. Ooh, okay. Another little addition here. Messi's regen in the team as well. Okay, I did not realize that. Wow, GG's, man. I like that even more now. Well, guys, that is an 81 voting against 19 votes for a three. So that is a four for Svegist as well. Ziga, your perseverance has paid off. This man has tried to get in here for two weeks now, and that is an incredible team. I will have a very hard job rating these squads. Now, we're going to have the last team come in with a couple of helmet boys, which I cannot wait to check out. Here we go. Now onto the team of Svegist, who has done really well, of course. An extremely impressive career mode with Bayern Munich 2. But the difficulty is going to be an 8 here, because Bayern Munich 2 is already including a lot of actually like really decent players and it's not that difficult as difficult as the league 2 career mode so because of that we're giving him eight in terms of difficulty the concept itself though is really nice i love what he has done but then again he has a couple of players that kind of ruin it for me because he has such a good um uh, balance of like uh, players that he actually had from the original team from before and with regens and stuff and then he comes in with ansu fati which Ah, I just can't. I just can't bring myself to give this a very high, a 10 rating because of that. I know it's not a crime, guys. It's just not a crime to go out there and bring yourself Ansu Fati's and stuff into your team. But at the end of the day, I feel like it's even more special when you take someone to the heights that he just wasn't really destined to get to. You know, that's what I basically am talking about here. In terms of growth, though, he gets a 10 because some of these players that, that were original Bayern Munich 2 players, he has taken to a 99, to a 98, another 98 in the centre-back position, a 99 there as well. Kuschel takes him, he takes him up to a 99. So in terms of growth, there's nothing I can really complain about with this team. Absolutely outstanding work there. And the stream rating was a 4 at the end. So, Svegist, our buddy here who has joined in, he has gotten himself a 31 rating in today's episode of I Rate Your Teams. And now, it's time for the former champion with a very interesting team and another Leighton Orient team to take part. Let's see what Price is Right can do this time. Okay. Oh, wait. He has done a Leighton Orient one as well. Wow, we have two Leighton Orients competing against each other right now. Price is right, returns once again. And I said to him just now, because we have so many people applying, we can't have him every episode. So he's definitely going to be sitting out at least the next episode. But he has made it in once again, because the team that he has made and the concept of it is extremely important to us. So we're going to go into it. He is in, wow, how far did you make it? Leighton Orient, 10 league titles, six domestic cups, six... A continental cups 
He has, in the last season, won every single thing. Manager of the year, manager of the month. 200 million he paid for Arak there. Wow, what the hell? The season before, he didn't buy anyone. The season before that, he paid 263 mil for Mater. Anyone else here? Wow, man, I'm impressed already. So, Price is Right has gone basically full youth academy, right? But also brought in some players. And the important part of this is, take a look at the team now. Helmet boy, 95 rated. Oh my God, no way. Another helmet boy anywhere? Please, come on, man. Come on, 98, 98. Any more helmet boys? Yes, 99 rated helmet boy. Yes, come on. Oh, mate, this is incredible. 99 rated Farkas. Wow, okay. Um, anyone else? As a helmet boy, potentially the goalkeeper. Come on, the goalkeeper has to be an... Ah, he's not a goalkeeper. He's not a helmet boy. So he has... How many go helmet boys does he have? 195 rated striker. And then he has a 99 rated center back. <laughs> Everyone says, just open the poll. <laughs> he has one. <laughs> Let's take a look at some of the other players that he has. So the squad depth is not as deep. I like it though, because sometimes the squad depth can be too much and too overwhelming and players are getting unhappy. It's causing contract issues. He hasn't won every time. He took part three times now. He won, he won the first time. The second time, I thought he was a winner, but he wasn't because my maths was, was bad on that day. So um, last episode, he didn't win. This guy, he just signed for like 200 something mil. Who is this? Oh, Lewandowski's regen. I see. So he, he just signed Lewandowski's regen there. Bro, he has a 99 rated center back with a helmet. I respect the hell out of that team. And a lot of the players have nice haircuts as well. Yeah, exactly. Some like different looking haircuts. I think that Korea was looking a little bit different. Yeah, yeah like I respect the hell out of this. Look at the starting lineup. Apart from the fact that it has two helmet boys in there, look at the fact that he has a bunch of youth academy players, just youth academy only, no actual players that actually uh, play in a starting lineup. From what I can tell, they were actually bought. From what we have checked, the Arak guy is on the bench anyways. It's a regen, so it also counts, so to say, in my opinion, at least in my youth academy career mode, it counts. Um, that Glover looks incredible, 98 rated. The right wing looks unbelievable. The center mids, Carrasco, uh, Vidal, both of them above 95, Bamba 94, McDonald 99. This is an incredible team. How many 99s do we have in there? One, two, three. Three 99s in the squad with one, two, three 98s. It's unbelievable. That is, that is Robertson regen. <laughs> how, do you, how does Price is Right pull this off? I'm so jealous. I want to have 90 plus rated helmet boys, man. I want to have someone that lifts the title with the helmet on their heads as my captain. One day I'm going to do it, man. One day I'm going to do it. That is an incredible, incredible squad from Price is Right. This might just be his best comeback into the series. I am extremely impressed with what he has been able to pull off once again. Incredible squad depth and unbelievable helmet boys at the 99 rating. I think there's nothing to complain about and combine that with the fact that he has Leighton Orient. I mean, we will let the chat vote, but well, let's see what happens here. So Price is Right has gotten a clear four. People have barely voted for anything else. It is a four and he just informed us that everyone in the starting lineup is actually from the Youth Academy and the regens are all on the bench as he has mentioned now. I do wonder, where is this guy from? Germany, left wing? Is that Sane's regen or something? I don't know. He's 31, probably not. Uh, any of these guys, actual regens that we know of? This could be this could be Benzema. So yeah, mate, you have an incredible squad. Price is right. Thank you so much once again for taking part. Messi's regen on the bench as well. Unbelievable stuff, man. This episode has been one of the best ever or the best ever, in my opinion, in terms of the teams. Everyone has a four. This is going to be so hard, so hard to give like a proper winner, uh, to pick a proper winner. So good luck to everyone. 
And now to the final ratings. Now, this is where it gets very hard for myself. Price is Right has done an exceptional job, right? He has a team filled with players above the rating of 94 in the starting lineup. He has a 99 rated helmet boy, but let's start off with the difficulty. It's a 10 because it's late in Orient and he starts in the lowest league possible that you can go in FIFA. Then we go into the concept of itself. The concept is an 8 for me because... And I got to be honest here, if you look at it objectively, it is just a career mode of youth academy players and regens on the bench. That is pretty much what it is. And it, ha it doesn't have anything else in terms of a concept. There is no deeper layer that we're going to be looking at here. So because of that, it's, it gets an eight because in the past for youth academy only career modes, we've also given eights. And uh, I feel like in today's episode, in terms of what we have seen so far, this is an 8 compared to all, uh, to the other stuff as well. The growth, though, is a 10. A helmet boy, a youth academy player, to take him to a 99 rating. And especially because of the fact that he has the helmet, it has to be a 10. There's no way around it. This is a 10. Of course it is. I, I had to give it to him. I said it multiple times. If someone has a helmet boy at the 99 rating, I'm going to lose my mind. And I did. I'm, I'm very happy that he got that, uh, that, that guy to a 99. And then the stream gave it a 4 as well. But this actually results in 32 points for Price is Right. It's just the fact that he didn't have really any player that was 70 potential and below or just any player really in real life that had low potential that he had taken to the next level. If it was a mix of a youth academy play, uh, team with a 99 rated helmet boy and then some other players that have low potential but he took them to the same rating as, as this Farkas, it would have been the best team that we've ever seen. But because the concept itself is simple, we just had to be fair and give the man his dues. The winner of today's episode is actually Tarlinho with the team that had players below the 70 potential only and he took them to 95 94 ratings and took them to become an absolutely unreal team and we even had our doubts but at the end of the day i think we have to show respect where the respect is due and we have to give him the win today price is right i appreciate your team i freaking love you bro he has won already guys so he's not in a bad position here it's all good i know some people might disagree with this one but i think at the end of the day it's a fun thing that we're doing here and i'm 100 sure price is right is going to come back with a bang and a couple of a couple of episodes later down the line but today the winner is tarlinho 14 congratulations to you make sure to take part in the next episode guys we always tend to record these around Wednesday, Thursday, and then post them on the weekends. So uh, make sure to follow me in the description down below on Facebook Gaming. That is where we record these live. And uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully you guys can have an amazing impact on this series with your team in the next episode. Take care and peace.